Okay, if you look on the class website, you'll see that I created a new blog posting. And uh, this blog post contains a bunch of code that I um, created that will basically teach you how to use HTML a little bit. So first things first, copy the HTML code from top to bottom. I'm going to copy that. And go over to Dreamweaver to your index.html file. We definitely want to be in index.html. And switch over to split view. What I want you to do is paste that HTML code in between the two body tags. Okay, and if you click on the design view section here, everything should pop in like that. So I'm going to save. And now I'm going to switch over to style.css because I want to add some CSS to it. So go back to the browser, scroll down a little bit, and find the CSS code. Copy that. Then go back into Dreamweaver and paste the CSS code into style.css. And I can click down here in the design window and I can see that some more changes happen. The footer color changed to white and you can see that here where it says color colon white semicolon. That's a command that changes the text color to whatever you want to specify it to. I also established a class for the container for all the content. It's going to be 950 pixels wide and it's going to be centered and I use the zero and auto to center everything. I also put a red border around it just so you can see what's going on. You can see that this is 950 pixels wide. The next bit of code on the website underneath logo and menu bar HTML code is what we need. So I'm going to highlight that, copy it, and I want to paste it not into the style sheet but into the HTML because this is considered part of the content. So I'm going to paste it in a very specific place. I want to paste that where it says logo and menu. I'm going to highlight the logo and menu and I'm just going to paste. And then if we click in the design view we should get something like this. Now this right here is going to be our menu bar but as it stands it's, uh, it's not formatted so we have to do that in the CSS sheet. We're going to do that next. One thing I noticed is that this is static text and I want to make it into actual links so if I highlight this text let me zoom in a little bit I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna add a link down here at the bottom I want to link that to about.html now we haven't created these documents yet but we will later these will be the different pages we're gonna have one pages for about one page for modules and one page for contact Now that I've created the links, let's format the menu bar. You can go back to the website. And what I want to do is copy this code for the menu bar. I want to paste it into the style sheet. Cool. Okay, now I'm going to manually add some texts, uh, some code, that will move everything, um, the menu bar I mean, all the way to the right. So under this UL number sign menu uh, property, I'm going to say float colon right semicolon. And if I click down here, you'll see that that moves the menu all the way to the right side. So that's good. 
Okay, now I'm going to add a logo. And uh, I w if you look at my Photoshop file here, I created a document with a transparent background. And then I put my logo on top. It's just something I whipped up real quick. And I did a save as. I made sure that I selected PNG because that preserves the transparency of the file. I want to name my logo logo.png and put it into the images folder. So it's already there, but it doesn't matter. I'll replace it. Okay. So now I've got my logo saved into the images folder for my portfolio. So if I go to the website, I can copy the logo HTML. And then I can paste that into the HTML of my index file. And I'm going to paste it just above where we pasted the menu. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room. Okay. So now, with any luck, if I click down in the design view, we'll see the logo pop up. Sweet. There it is.